of course, I uh, don't agree with the uh, extrajudicial killings, also with the statements that the president have uttered, which are very anti-women. You know, I have always, um, I have always been against this, and I think that when I uh, accepted the um, the uh, membership to the cabinet and this position at the NAPSI, the president knows very well who I am. You know, I think. Um, I think he also accepts that um, I will not agree with <laughs> all that he's doing. No? Um, but then, of course, there is still, as I've said, one of the primary reasons why I accepted is because of the peace negotiations. Mm -hmm. And they were also, of course, b very real. Actually, there were already you know, breakthrough agreements that were, that were forged between the two um, uh, parties. And this, for me, are very important as well. So, uh, unfortunately, ito na nga yung sinabi, no? And then, uh, they are also, again, uh, reiterating that uh, they will only, the government will only um, pursue again or resume peace negotiations if the NDF will agree that uh, the negotiations will be held here in the Philippines, mm -hmm. which I also do not agree. No? Kasi, um, Position na and the FJAN that and I think it is just common sense that when you talk, and this is the experience also of uh, other peace negotiations in other countries, lahat yan sa neutral venue ginawa. May point pa, ma'am, when you were able to voice your concerns about the EJK, the his remarks about women to the president oh, oh, yeah, personally. Yeah, oh, oh. Actually, actually, uh, siempre iba na yung way ko, ano? Kasi may access naman ako directly, di ba? And uh, also with other women in the, oh. in, yes, uh, nag-uusap-usap rin kami at sinasabi rin namin yan. No? So, ano po so yung in, in, Like, for example, yung Commission on Women, okay. they are also very concerned at, uh, at uh, pinapaabot din yung mga concerns namin tungkol mm -hmm. dyan. No?